Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about recognizing and knowing your difference and that it's okay. So let's begin. We all are different. Just like the sun, the moon, and the stars, we all were created to be different from one another simply because we all are, are needed for a different kind of purpose. We need, we need builders, we need healthcare workers, we need lawyers, we need accountants, we need all kinds of different people in our life at some point in time of another. And, you know, I wrestled with this because I was different. I felt different when I was younger from my other schoolmates. And there's a lot of a lot of people that do wrestle with this day in and day out. They want to fit in, um, and there's they they want to uh, not have shame in regards of how they're wired, um, their quirkiness, which is what I have a tendency to be, but in a good way. Okay, so I want to discuss some very powerful tips in regards to your difference is okay. And the first one I wrote down is being different can help you build a legacy. You know, the most remarkable people in history were different. They did something extraordinary that no one else did. So whatever it is, you can build a legacy for yourself in being different. You don't need to work at being famous or different. You've already got what everybody being famous or different is trying to have. You have it naturally. So embrace it and go for it. Run with it and make a good life for yourself. The second one that I wrote down is being different generally offers a very, very unique perspective in whatever the circumstance is you're involved in. Sometimes people stand out because of the race, their ability, or some other factor. But you offer a unique perspective that can be shared to others through education, through encouragement, which is kind of what I, I basically am unique for doing. And so it's really nothing that you have to work at. It comes automatically. And so it's, it's a very positive way of life. Number three has to do with you stand out from the crowd. And boy, do I ever sometimes. <laughs> In a world of sameness. You know what? I'm glad. I'm really glad I'm not the same as everybody else is. And you know what? Everybody else is saying, "Well, I'm not glad. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the same as everybody else is." Being different makes you genuinely stand out. I I use I play up my quirkiness a lot sometimes. You don't see it so much on my YouTube channel, but I really do in real life because it's just it's easy. It's it's just who I am. I naturally fit in like that. And so I, um, I, I help people by being my quirky self sometimes, not every time, but sometimes. And, you know, sometimes they look, they think, you know, they just roll their eyes and say, okay, Deb, you really, uh, we, we get it, you know, but, but you know what? I made them laugh. And so that's kind of, and I think that's, I, to me, that was a win-win, okay? Uh, you're honest and authentic. Being different makes you honest and authentic. One of the benefits is that you're true to yourself. Exactly. Don't try to make yourself something that you are not. It will wear you out. And you'll just be end up being frustrated your whole life. Don't live like that. Mm-mm. When, um, when people don't accept their uniqueness, they become inauthentic and dishonest about who they are. And you know what? People can pick up on that. 
So just be honest and authentic about your uniquely quirky self. Okay? Uh, and know your boundaries. Now, people who believe the I don't, I, I don't fit in, quote, you know, uh, saying, uh, they don't know how far the boundaries of their personalities go. So you, I do make sure that I'm not very, I'm not pushy in my quirkiness or my uniqueness. And I keep, I keep it in check. And so, and you, you know what? You can read people's expressions. You can read people's emotions. Um, and a lot of times people are very, are, are very animated in letting you know that without saying anything to you. So yeah, uh, just know your boundaries. Um, know that you are a brave person in a world filled with, hello, judgmental, judgmental people, quick to tear people apart with a single comment. Being different automatically means that you're brave. Being judged for being a bit quirky isn't an easy feat. You know what? I've had to experience a whole lot harder things than being my quirky self. I really have. It's not that big a deal, you know? And so just get up. Don't worry about it. Uh, you're not one-dimensional. I am not one-dimensional person. In a sea of sameness, you know, you don't fit in a, in a certain box. You know, people say, well, I want you to you know, fit the cer certain box. No. And that's one thing I learned about when I learned about the personalities and how to live in the strengths of my personality is that it was it didn't put me in a box. What it did, it released me out of the box other people had put me into. So, yeah. Okay, the next one is you can stand up for yourself. Instead of telling yourself, I don't fit in or what's wrong with me, anybody that's, if, if, if I've done, I've said that to my to myself plenty of times. It's time to realize that you're standing upon for yourself every time you celebrate being different. You're standing up for yourself. And that's what I do. I stand up for myself. I don't, I don't shy away or shy back. And you know what? If you're like that way, I, if you're like that, it does take time, but work on it. And you know what? Have someone in your life that you can work on it with that's willing to go there with you. Now, the next one is you live your life on your own terms. Of course. You still love and support other people when needed, but you beat your own drum. You don't need to pretend to fit in to have inner peace. I don't feel like I need to fit in. Life is all about showcasing your uniqueness with the world. And with me, that's quirky. Quirkiness. <laughs> A good quirkiness. Yeah. Okay. The next one is you can be a huge success. One of the benefits of being different is that you can become a huge success. Being something unique or bringing something unique to the table is what helps people and businesses thrive. It means you stand out. So live in the strength of your quirkiness. Live in the strength of your uniqueness of who you were uniquely and wonderfully created and designed to be. Uh, you can provide, the next one is you can provide empathy. Being different usually means you had a hard time in life. Standing out from the norm can make school, work, in general, much harder. You likely can provide better support for those struggling with emotional pain. And I do. Well, one of them, and you say, well, what was, what was that like? Well, like, well, I was begrudged the food I ate when I was much younger. So I, I'm, I work and, and have compassion on people for food. And, um, so that's something that I, uh, have taken upon myself to, to help people with. 
you're interesting. The next next thing would be that you're interesting. You're automatically an interesting person just for being different. If you don't fit in, it's because you have a unique angle to yourself that makes you stand out. I look at myself differently than what other people look at me. And it is it, it is in a positive mindset and a positive way that I live. And I, and you know what? You have to live with yourself before you can live with anyone else. Whether, you know, in, in the strength of your uniqueness, in the strength of your quirkiness. Um, and you can handle stress. This is the last thing. When you don't conform to social uh, roles, people will often try to make you more like them. And this is stress. You wonder why people can't accept you for who you are. However, life goes on. You become better at managing the stress of, of social situations without having to reduce who you are. You'd be surprised at the phony people in this world. And if you've lived any amount of length of time on the face of this earth, you will see them. You will interact with them. And you will be able to see that and then think about your own self and how you live out your own life and know that, hey, I don't, I don't have to reduce myself to where they, to where they're at. If that doesn't mean that they're a, a bad, evil person or anything of that, it's just that's where they choose to live. And you choose to live where you want to live. So, I hope this, um, these, these thoughts, ideas, and suggestions give you a little bit of insight in regards to your uniqueness, uh, knowing that you're d being different is okay. So go ahead and make it a great day. Glad you found me. Glad I found you. See you again next week. Bye.